I changed my family's future with one investing strategy. See, I felt trapped in an engineering career with minimal growth potential, and I nearly cried every time I picked up my daughter after having nine hours of daycare for her. I was just barely able to support my young family. And investing in the traditional way felt like it was gonna take a lifetime to build the kind of wealth to get myself out of this predicament. I even bought a rental property, but that just gave me more work and less time with my family. But all that changed when I found that I could invest in real estate completely passively. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through the five simple steps that you can take to change your family's future. I'm Susan Elliott, mother of two, investor, and I help people expand their investment options to reach their financial goals faster and not sacrifice their life goals along the way. All right, let's jump in. Number one is education, but hold on before you think that I'm gonna give you a list of things that you as a busy parent probably, or just busy working professional need to squeeze into your day in order to learn about a whole new thing. That's not what I'm going to say. Let's just pause and think about the word resiliency here. Resiliency is essentially building up the capacity to do hard things. And you, as a busy person, as a parent, are really good at doing hard things. Like how you remain patient when a toddler hits you in the face. Or when they break your favorite lamp. You've probably also brushed another human's teeth two times a day for up to five years. Did you know that that's like 3,500 brushings of someone else? And this isn't someone who's sitting calmly. No, no, no. So you can do hard things. And the way I want you to think about doing hard things is finding tiny pockets of freedom where you can just take one next step to learn about something new that could set you on a different trajectory for you and your family. A good way to think about this is Dean Becker, the president and CEO of Adaptive Learning Systems, a company that develops and delivers programs about resilience training, says this. More than education, more than experience, more than training, a person's level of resilience will determine who succeeds and who fails. That's true in the cancer world, it's true in the Olympics, it's true in the boardroom, and it's true in your own personal household. So building up the kind of resilience to be able to continue to educate yourself, do hard things, add just one more thing to the list of things that you wanna do can really set you in a different trajectory towards financial success. So I want you to take baby steps to start learning about passive real estate investing. This is a new strategy potentially to you, but not to the world. And you can do that by signing up for our free seven day email course in the description below. This is a totally free course. It's literally seven emails and super easy to walk you through the basic concepts of what this type of investing is. You can read one of these emails while you're at work during the day to just get started. There's a lot of other videos out there that are gonna teach you this. And again, just pick one a day, one before you go to bed or one while you're brushing someone else's teeth. Little steps to be able to educate yourself. Okay, step number two is always come back to why you're doing this. This is a great foundation to have as you continue to invest, as you find more chunks of money to be able to invest. These are like hard things that go against societal pressures to spend more money, to just do the easy route, to just do it like everyone else. So you really have to ground in your why. And I really like the seven whys strategy here. So think about why are you investing and write that down. Then ask why did you say that? And then ask, why did you say that? And do that seven times. A good example of this would be like, I want to invest to be able to have enough money to quit my job. Well, why do you want to quit your job? Oh, I want to be able to quit my job so that I can pursue this side hustle and also pick my kids up from school. Well, why do you want to pursue that side hustle and why does it mean a lot to you to pick my kids up from school? And you start to ground down into the values of why you're doing this and those are a lot more motivational than just, uh, I wanna have some big pot of money at the end of the rainbow. Step three is to just start with passive real estate investing first. It can be easy, especially as you start to educate yourself around real estate investing like I did, to think that you need to start buying a ton of rental properties. 
that's kind of what I did. Found out that you have to spend a lot more of your time, which is not what I want to do as a mom with two young kids. So just start with passive real estate investing first. Know that you don't have to do the runaround, the rental property management, building up your portfolio runaround in order to leverage the same, if not better returns that come from real estate investing. So passive real estate investing is when a group of people come together to purchase a larger building. And they're doing this with an, the experience of a team or a sponsor who is the one that analyzes all the deals, they pull together all the financials, they certainly find the best markets to work in, and then they manage those properties, they fix them up, they do the things that add value, and then they work on selling them at the end. But they need people like us to bring our capital to the deal to be able to do this. And we get to share in the returns. Now, these returns can be in the ballpark of 15 to 20 percent annualized over the course of that ownership period. Um, they can be higher, they can be a little bit lower, but historically, real estate is an incredible way to build wealth. It's a hedge against inflation, it's hard assets, it's great diversification. There's lots of reasons that this works great for almost any family. So the reason why this has changed my family's future is that I'm able to put little bits of our capital, little bits of our savings across properties across the United States, working with expert teams that I've already vetted and love working with, and I don't have to do anything. So this is like diversifying into a self-storage facility, and I have an apartment over here, and two apartments in this fund, and another two business class hotels over here. I don't have to do any of that work, which means I can spend more time with my family in the years where I feel like they're growing up so fast and I really don't want to like hustle on the side to build a retirement income to look back and realize that I missed a lot along the way. These are also great investments because they return cash flow over time. This is starting to free me up even today. I just got a distribution for $800 from one of my, uh, one of my properties yesterday and I thought to myself, I'm gonna reinvest it right now, but that's not a, not a terrible chunk of money to be able to receive to start paying my bills with, right? This is going to allow me to spend more time with my family. It's gonna allow me to build the kind of generational wealth that I wanna to give to my kids, like paying for their first down payment on their first home or a business or something that, that's gonna set them up for success in life as well. I also am excited to take mini retirements because I'm gonna be able to quit my job or go part-time a lot sooner than I expected. Okay, step number four is to start before you have enough. So this type of investing, you can get started for as little as $10,000. And I think people think about real estate and they think you have to save up some massive down payment in order to purchase anything, and that's not true. But it used to be true. So these are called real estate syndications, these group investments, and they used to really only be open to sort of ultra high net worth individuals because the minimum investment was so high. And this was mostly due to regulations, everyone needing to comply, to be able to keep sure, make sure everybody was safe and that there was no fraud going on, but these regulations are getting easier to comply with in such that we're able to use, for instance, new regulation crowdfunding to bring in more investors that are not accredited, meaning they have a net worth lower than $1 million currently, to be able to start building their wealth in this type of real estate investing sooner. Okay, step number five is to keep in mind that we can't know everything. In our current era, we have information at our fingertips, right? And we sort of have begun to feel like we have to know everything in order to take steps to move forward. And when it comes to investing, we can project returns into the future. We can create an incredible business scenario. And this is what individual companies are doing that you're investing in if you're investing in the stock market, right? We can base returns on historical returns, but ultimately none of us can know everything or what is going to happen in the future. Most of human history has actually operated this way. People couldn't know everything, yet they still took steps to move forward. They didn't know the ultimate outcome, but they took the next step to be able to move closer to that outcome. So you can move forward with taking steps towards a new investing opportunity without knowing if it's 100% right for you, without knowing if it's 100% gonna be successful, because guess what? No one can know everything about the future. 
I think that this really cripples people when it comes to investing because we want to be sure, especially in the early stages. I know that as I began to invest, which was not that long ago, I've only been doing this for five to eight years, it felt like every time I put capital into a deal, I really needed it to be successful. When I just started letting go of that, I did my due diligence in the beginning. I put my money in there and now I just need to trust that it's going to go in the direction that I expect it to go because you can't control everything. So take steps, move forward and even make that first investment before you think you know every little tiny detail. Know enough so you have confidence. Work with a team that you can continually ask questions to. For instance, you can join us in our weekly popover event. The link is in the description below where me and other people from our team just show up and answer any questions that you bring to the table. This is a really great way to just kind of break down the barriers and move forward because I promise you, this can absolutely change your family's future like it has for mine. These are the simple steps for the roadmap to make this big shift. But another thing that you absolutely need to know is reasons you should not invest passively in real estate syndications. So watch this next video to take a look at that.